I have seen so many more patients coming and asking me for gender selection uh, now in, in a way to balance their family. And it's interesting because we first started offering this treatment for genetic couples, couples who had a, a, a certain sex-related disorder in their child. And they were asking me to prevent that uh, same disease in the next uh, child. So we were testing embryos uh, genetically to determine which one was male and female for the genetic uh, problems. But now it has branched out into couples who are actually fertile. They already have two boys and they want a girl. Or they have two girls and they want a boy. And I seem to, about 80% of my couples requesting this are looking for a girl baby. So a lot of it is female driven. I feel like women want to have daughters. And they're the ones that are pulling the strings and saying, I don't want to have five more pregnancies with a son. I want to get my family uh, you know, done and over with. And here's a way to use the technology to actually have a healthy baby girl. So 80% of my couples are searching for girls. Well, the technology has actually, in the last 10 years, we've been able to offer um, PGS, or pre-implantation genetic screening for embryos. And basically, it's producing an embryo in an IVF cycle, and then testing the embryo for all 24 chromosomes, which includes Down syndrome, Turner syndrome. So we're looking not only for a, a male and a female, the gender, but we're also trying to test for uh, the genetic diseases that would cause an unhealthy pregnancy or uh, a miscarriage or a pregnancy that was never going to actually happen. So the technology has greatly advanced. Uh, about 99% accuracy is seen in our embryos that are being tested. And um, these are, of course, patients who are fertile. They're either coming to us because they have a genetic problem and need a certain gender to eliminate the disorder or because they want to balance their family.